We all cherish our moments of solitude, yet there are those who take this affinity to a remarkable level. They aren't just content with their alone time, they absolutely flourish in it. You might often gaze upon these solitary individuals, pondering over their state of happiness. Are they genuinely content in their solitude, or are they utilizing as a front to hide their loneliness? Is their seclusion an active choice they make, or merely a result of unforeseen circumstances? Could it be that they are just putting up a strong exterior, concealing their real feelings? You might find yourself these questions. I've had the pleasure of interacting with and observing many such individuals who consciously choose to lead solitary lives. The insight I've gained from these experiences has me to identify seven unique traits that are seemingly shared by those who genuinely revel in their solitude. These traits may help us better understand their choices. If you find these characteristics resonate with you, might just belong to the singular group that treasures solitude. These individuals are self-reliant introspective, and often display an unusually high level of creativity. They value privacy and personal space, and they exhibit a certain level of comfort with their own thoughts and ideas. They are often introspective, have a keen sense of self-awareness, and possess an unyielding spirit of independence. Understanding these traits may come to appreciate solitude not as a sign of loneliness, but as a testament to strength and self-sufficiency. If these traits sound familiar, you might just be part of the unique crowd that savors solitude. One of the most striking traits of people who genuinely enjoy being alone is their affinity for self-reflection. This profound affinity isn't a mere passing interest or a casual hobby, but an integral aspect of their nature that often shapes their personality and behaviors. They don't see solitude as an undesirable state imposed on them. Instead, they cherish it. They see it as an opportunity to engage in a deeply personal journey towards self-discovery and personal growth. People who are comfortable with solitude often have a unique relationship with self-reflection. It's not a task they feel obliged to do, nor is it a chore they dread. On the contrary, it's a pleasurable activity they willingly undertake. They are like explorers embarking on an exciting adventure within their minds, navigating through layers of thoughts, emotions, and memories eager to unearth profound insights about themselves and the world around them. The way they value self-reflection is noteworthy. They not only appreciate its importance, but actively seek out opportunities for it. They leverage their solitude to engage in introspective exercises, often using their alone time to delve deep into their thoughts and emotions. They let their minds wander freely without any external distractions, allowing them to access their deepest thoughts and feelings. Their tendency to introspect may sometimes lead them to be misunderstood or labeled as introspective or introverted. However, they're not bothered by such labels. They're aware of the richness and vividness of their inner life, which often remains unseen by others. They've built a world within themselves that extends far beyond the physical environment around them. Their world isn't confined to the tangible, observable reality around them, Rather, its reach extends into boundless landscapes populated by thoughts, ideas, and dreams. People who genuinely enjoy being alone often have a rich and vivid inner life. Their world isn't confined to the physical environment around them. Rather, it extends to boundless landscapes of thoughts, ideas, and dreams. As someone who genuinely enjoys being alone, I've discovered that a robust sense of independence is a shared trait among us. This sense of autonomy is not just about being self-reliant, but also about embracing solitude and cherishing the quiet. We appreciate our freedom, often preferring to rely on ourselves rather than leaning on others. This reliance is not born out of sheer stubbornness or pride, but rather from the simple belief in our abilities. Our solitude offers us an opportunity to explore our thoughts, to delve deep into the recesses of our minds, allowing us to better understand ourselves. In the silence of our own company, we are free to engage in introspection, to reflect on our actions, our decisions, and our life's direction. It's this quiet introspection that helps us grow as individuals, keeping us grounded and focused on our personal growth. Social interactions can be exhausting for us, not because we dislike people, but because we value meaningful and purposeful exchanges. We are not interested in superficial chit-chat. We crave depth, substance, and authenticity in our conversations. 
people who genuinely enjoy being alone are not just self-reliant, they are also typically highly observant. Observant to the point of being intuitive, sharp, and meticulous. Our time alone allows us the luxury of quiet observation. We are not swept up in the chaos of social interaction. Instead, we have the time and space to absorb the finer details around us. We take in the beauty of the world with a unique perspective, pulling in every facet and detail that others might overlook in the hustle and bustle of social interaction. The world often appears as a medley of unnoticed hues to us, a spectrum of colors, sounds, and feelings that we have the space to appreciate. People who genuinely enjoy being alone tend to be highly observant. They take the time to absorb the details around them, noticing things that others might overlook in the hustle and bustle of social interaction. As someone who thrives in solitude, I've come to realize that a comfort with silence is an intriguing and profound trait among us. It's a trait that many misunderstand, often mistaking it for aloofness or cold-heartedness. But the reality is far from this misconception. In truth, it's a trait that's born of a deep appreciation and understanding of life's quieter moments. It's about finding peace and tranquility in the absence of noise and chaos. And not merely about being alone, it's about valuing that aloneness, cherishing that solitude. Let's delve deeper into this fascinating trait. Where others might feel unease in the quiet, we find tranquility, find peace. There's a sense of serenity that comes with silence, a sort of unsaid calmness that provides a respite from the relentless noise of the world. It's a realm where thoughts can flow freely, without the constant interruptions of societal demands. The tranquility found in silence allows a sort of self-reflection, a chance to delve into the intricacies of one's mind. Those who genuinely relish their solitude often place a high emphasis on the quality of their relationships, rather than the quantity. They may not be the life of the party or the most outspoken in a crowd, but they value the depth of relationships they nurture. They might not have an extensive social circle, but the relationships they do maintain are typically deep, meaningful, and filled with mutual respect, understanding, and love. These individuals are not just content with maintaining superficial acquaintances. Instead, they take the time, make the effort, to cultivate and nurture these bonds. They go above and beyond to ensure their relationships are meaningful, sincere, and authentic. It's not uncommon for such individuals to go out of their way to nurture these bonds. The last but certainly not least trait of people who truly cherish solitude is their self-motivation. This characteristic is not just a minor factor, but a significant attribute that sets them apart. These individuals are driven by their own unique ideas and ideals, and not by the standards set by society. Their self-motivation is much more than just an occasional spur of enthusiasm. It is a steady, ongoing drive that pushes them to strive harder and reach higher. They seek knowledge and experience not for external rewards, but for their own personal growth and development. A standout feature of these self-motivated individuals is there for learning. They don't view learning as a chore, but more as an opportunity for enrichment. Whether it's grasping a new language, picking up a musical instrument, or diving into the intricacies of quantum physics, they relish the process of acquiring new skills. They understand that learning is a lifelong journey, and they are eager to embark upon it. Passion projects for them are not just hobbies or pastimes. They are meaningful endeavors that add value to their lives and fuel their creative flames. And when it comes to work, they don't just aim for paychecks or promotions. They pursue career goals that align with their personal values and ambitions. Their motivation is entirely self-generated. They don't need applause or approval to keep going. They are not discouraged by solitude, but rather, they utilize it to their advantage. They convert their alone time into productive periods of learning, creating, and growing. And it's not just about productivity for the sake of it. It's about using that solitude to chase dreams, to shape visions, and to mold their destiny. They draw motivation from within, turning their solitude into a productive and fulfilling endeavor. If you found this video inspiring, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure to share it with your friends, family, and anyone else who might benefit from its message. We've created this content with the aim to inspire, motivate, and engage our audience. It's our mission to bring you content that propels your mind and spirit to new perspectives and heights. So, if you've enjoyed this, do consider supporting us by subscribing to our channel. 
Your support helps us create more content that helps you expand your horizons. And remember, reaching the flow state isn't a distant dream. It's within your grasp. It's a state that amplifies creativity, boosts productivity, and enhances overall well-being. So let's embark on this journey together, pushing our limits, expanding our minds, and becoming better versions of ourselves. Stay awesome, my friends.